Good day, to get a copy. What's your 20? Did you see the buck? ground and post up. I'm going to go a little low on the east facing bank. Post up and wait for you.
much more of a deer that could look like. Look at it with your binoculars. <laughs> yeah, it is. This is beautiful. Oh yeah, you found a shed. Found a set, actually. If you guys can see this or not but that is a wallow an elk wallow and there's a highway leading right up to it big stump right there it's all beaten down grass almost looks man-made it's crazy Day 10. We are in some uncharted.
uncharted territory. We stumbled upon this this log of road and took it to the very end. So I got my bow and I'm just walking this ridge. It's just about, I don't know, 70 yards from the top on this slope. I'm trying to see if I can pick off a buck. It's sprinkling today. It's been pretty cloudy. It's been raining on and off. It's a little cool. It's almost enough for me to wear a jacket. Well anyway, let's uh let's keep moving forward on this ridge and see if we can pick something out. Thanks again for clicking on the video. Doesn't get much better than that, does it? I don't know if you can hear it or not, but that's not wind. That is the Black River. And yes, we are on the quest for the Black River, but the Black River is long. We're actually on a quest for access to the Black River so we can go fishing. I don't think this is it, but this is still beautiful. Beautiful country. Unbelievable. Anyway, I thought you might like that. There's a fence. Interesting. A rig right there. Nice little campfire ring. It's gonna be left with some wood. Nice. That is an elk bed. There's definitely a lot of elk sign around here. Oh yeah. I found a boulder that overlooks the Black River. It's pretty sweet. Yeah, I've seen the Black River from over there too. It's blowing pretty good. It's, yeah, it is. It's blowing really good. Sure wish we could find that access. <laughs> this ain't it. This is not it. What are you doing? 
We made it back to camp. It's starting to rain a little bit more. Yeah, we got that right. Get in here, Dad. First you called it, you're like, I think that's rain over there. <laughs> yeah. It's kind of slowing down and it increases and then it slows down. Well, it's the evening hunt, and I'm going solo. I picked a ridge that I would think not too many people would go on, but we have seen deer on it. Last year we did. It's about 5 o'clock. It's been raining all day, off and on, as you guys have seen. So I'm just going to do a little walkabout and uh, see if I can't you know, walk up on a deer since it's pretty wet and should be pretty quiet. It's not too much light left. Got the ranger parked. Right there. And I'm just gonna walk into the wind and uh, see what I can kick up. Wish me luck. Stay tuned. yesterday taking those awesome pictures There's another elk wallow right there. I don't see another camera. Somebody didn't come back for that camera box. Help. Not bad. Did 
just an elk wallow. Look at this thing. It's deep. It's about two feet deep in the middle. Pretty wild. <laughs> Cracks me up. Well, guys, I'm back at the ranger. What a cool day. Got to try and attempt to find the access to the Black River. Pretty badass scenery. Still, the elusive bucks. We cannot seem to get on them. Alex stalked one this morning and uh, he got within 50 yards. Now he said he saw it at 100 just standing there, so he decided to, well, why not try it? He got within 50 and flung an arrow at it, but it deflected and went low and the buck ran off. He said he had one side that was kind of like a little fork, but the other side was either gone or backwards or just weird. I mean, that's like the next step for me is to be able to fling an arrow at a buck around here. And the fact that he was able to do that is just so kick-ass. Finding those couple sheds yesterday, the little coos deer set, and then uh, that little uh, brow tine. I skip forward to today. I stumble upon this little guy. I don't know how old he is, but I'd say maybe a, a two-year-old. I don't know. I'm no expert at uh, judging elk antlers and their age. But, I mean, it's still got a little brown in it. And obviously this is not the best lighting, so I'll try and show this to you guys tomorrow in the light. And uh, maybe we can get a better look at it. But this is a... It's turned out to be another great day here in Arizona. I mean, just look at that thing. It's not huge, but I'm still proud of it. So, with that... I guess all I have to say is thanks for watching. I appreciate the view. Please leave me a comment below. What do you think this elk antler age is at? This is in fact the left side. Smash that like button. Smash it for outstanding scenery, awesome views, and shed hunting. Which technically I was mule deer hunting. Well, what's up guys? Back at camp. I wanted to take a little bit of time and show you these antlers. There's one that Alex found and gave to me. This is definitely an old shed. It's pretty light. Most of it's been eaten away by bugs. Decent brow tine. And then here's one that I found yesterday. One half. This is another left side. Yeah. It's another left side. I know I'm showing it right side to you. This would be a left side. A little brow tine. And number two, the main beam. It looked like it was broken off up pretty good. And then this guy was laying right next to it. Not very big. Again, another left side. About a quarter in diameter, maybe a little bit bigger. We'll shoot up here at the end. And again, it's white on the side that was up. You can see it's been chewed on squirrels and chipmunks and stuff. I don't have small hands, but I don't have large hands. Mine are about medium. So it's kind of weird that there's two left sides in the same exact spot right next to each other. And yeah, this is the side that I saw laying on the ground. This was the side that was obviously towards the ground. Yeah. Anyway, comment below. Let me know what you guys think. You know, if, uh, some of you guys out there that shed hunt for elk and hunt elk can tell me the age of this, this young bull here. Not bad. It's um, officially the first sheds that I've found ever. Anyway.
You guys hear those coyotes over there? We going fishing, we going fishing in the Black River for trout. Got my waders on this year, no crocs, destroyed feet. Got my Badland Scout pack on, and got my White River chest pack on. Got my spin cast, got a net, and we brought a cooler. Hopefully we can bring home some trout. Anything happening? I'm hearing beeps. Oh, there you go. When it honks, you know it's good. You were gonna try to I think so. He's already in the water. You're gonna go to the first hole or the first yeah, where that confluence where, that, uh, where the river hits that wall, and then I see that there's a hole there. I'll fish it. If there is, I'll probably go a little further. See if I can find any holes and then I'll work my way back. Well, good morning, everybody. It is Wednesday. September 2nd and it's day 11 and we are trout fishing today on the Black River here in Arizona and it is a gorgeous day we got blue skies dad's already over there upstream a little bit I think he's got a woolly on uh, and I am going with this little brown crayfish check check this guy out so that's what I'm gonna start with then I might switch to a spinner. We've got, it's kind of shallow. Whoa, almost busted myself. Let's see if you see Dad up there. He's over there. It's kind of shallow, but there are some, some pools that we're gonna try and target. So we just decided to jump in a stream and uh, check this out. So I hope you guys like it. And once again, thanks for clicking on the video. Dad just hooked one, and he said he lost it. I bet you he's using a spinner. His favorite. I'm going to try and see what's on the other side of this little rock right here. My leader's a little bit too long. Do you have one back there? Yeah, I think they're about that big. I saw one chasing mine too, about that same size. Are you seeing tadpoles or are they crawdads? Crawdads. They're real dark, aren't they? Yeah. I'm gonna have to switch to my black and red one. Yeah, as soon as they hit the water, then they start tapping on them. Nice. I thought I was, you know, getting into something, but if they don't take the hook, then they're just nibbling on it. I'm just grabbing the tail, so... It's slippery. Oh. Man, I am... Almost went down twice. Same here. I feel like I'm gonna... I feel like I need to get my wading legs back. Look at that fish. I know it's dead and ugly, but that's not a bad sized fish right there. Good to know that there's fish that size in here. All right, let's go find their brothers. All right, I cast it twice into this hole. From there, there's something right inside of there. I think it's real tiny though. Let's see if I can get it.
uh, stinking thing. Alright, on to the next hole. Switched it up. Got a much darker crawdad. See if that works. Look at that bluff. Should be a good hole here. Good fishing pole. Fish, fishing pole hole. Fishing hole pole. Whatever. Ooh. Yeah. All righty. Okay. Let's see what we can do here. Catch on the first cast. All right, changing it up again. It's pretty light for this rig, this rod that I got. I'm gonna try it, I'm gonna give it a whirl. Yeah, I only made it about five feet in the water. Let's see here. Oh, hit the bush. Not a very deep lure either. You have to rip it over there. Can't get it over there. Lost it. Looked like a little brown. Changing it again. Hopefully you can see that. Silver spinner. Brown woolly. Little bead head on it. Give it a shot. Oh boy. It is toasty. Oh, somebody's got a fish over there. Yeah, he's got him one. Somebody's on the board. Well guys, I'm gonna give you an update. This is tough fishing. It's hot. And these fish are, I don't know. Sometimes I wonder if there's fish in here. <laughs> I know there are, but um, we just haven't find any, found any good pulls. Um, I've got a couple bites on some by some really tiny, tiny fish. Dad caught a nice little tiny fish. He actually landed it. First one that's been landed today. Uh, it's tough fishing, man. Arizona is not being nice to me. I hope my luck changes. I really do. I mean, it's just beautiful here. I understand that there's a lot of fishing pressure. Just like all the all the deer hunting pressure. It's really tough. It's really tough. But anyway, I'm gonna move on down to the stream here. Down there, I think Dad's down there. And see if there's another little bit of a deeper hole. Most of this stuff is pretty shallow. And uh, yeah, 
I switched over to a chartreuse rooster tail, a little spinner, and still got the leader on, which is still giving me fits. I had to strip off a bunch of braid, it got all tangled up, so that didn't make me happy. But anyway, um, moving on. Kind of slick. the dry rocks. Don't even ask me how that works. Okay, what we got here? Look at what we got here, folks. Finally. That one on the chartreuse rooster tail. Man, struggle is city. Nice fish. Try and get you back in the water. No buddy. Come on, work with me here. Work with you here. Alright. Lures out. Doesn't count if you don't get a picture. Been a rough day for both of us. It'll be all right. Man, finally. I was, I don't know if you guys could tell, but I was getting pretty frustrated there. My rig and all my equipment was failing on me. This braided line was pissing me off. But I guess it's true, it only takes one. Man, my spirits have been lifted. <laughs> anyway, uh, I'm gonna make a couple more casts and I'm gonna go catch up with Bruce and Dad. At, I think Bruce uh, may have hooked into something. So that would be uh, pretty awesome. Something's on my hand, sorry. All right, check in with you in a second. Anything happening? I'm hearing beeps. Oh, there you go. When it honks, you know it's good.
feel like this trip is coming to an end a lot faster than I wanted to. I sure do love being here. It's, I don't know what it is. I think if I had more time here, I could probably dial in these deer a little bit better. But two weeks, two weeks still isn't enough. Check back with you guys in a little bit. <sighs> well, guys, it's time to pack it up. Elusive mule and goose deer of Arizona boils me again. My lucky bandana has not yet helped me out. I thought I saw something move. What's up guys? It's the evening hunt. As you can see, I got a pretty steep ravine behind me. Well, this ravine goes out to a, a point. That's where my cousin Alex and my dad have been hunting over there and we had a game camera set up. It's pretty late, it's about five, and I just decided to do a little walkabout today and just try and catch a buck on a hillside here. Try and work the wind in my favor and hopefully get lucky. I can't let this evening pass me by. Can't kill a deer if you're at camp. So, wish me luck and stay tuned.
I'll see you guys in a tree. set up.
interesting. That's a good sign. That's the way that I walked in, like in my little tail. You see it? meets up right here. Now there's trails back and forth all over this thing. She was way over there working her way this way and then cut up into the locust. They also come from back here and go this way and come across here and go that way. So lots of trails, a big network of trails. Guys, I got about 45 minutes left of on plane and I just wanted to take the time to say thank you for watching. You know, sometimes as a hunter, it just never happens. You know, same with fishing. I try to portray real life. You know, I don't always get to catch fish. I don't always get to hunt and, and kill deer. But I get the opportunities. Thank you, Uncle Bruce. Thank you, Alex, my cousin Alex. It's been a blast. At the same time, I really miss my daughter. I want to see her. I just want to give another big thanks to the man upstairs, Lord above. I've had here. I really wish I could bring this to you guys in real life. Pictures and video just never do it justice. 